Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here. It is the Earth Master on this uh, Tuesday night, January 30th, 2024. It's about 11.04 p.m. California time. And the uh, latest activity on the globe looks like a 1.2 there in California, also a 2.9 here across the area of the Mediterranean. Let's go see what's going on here across the map. Latest activity here across the West Coast. Did see some movement up here in Northern California, the extreme southern end of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Seen a 2.1 earlier this evening. Now that's 20 kilometers down into the subduction zone, which sits offshore. And of course, extends all the way up to the uh, Vancouver Island Ranges Pass there. Major subduction zone. This one uh, into the area about 20 kilometers down. Uh, I do want to check the trimmer map here real quick with that earthquake that popped up Let's see if we got anything going on in the trimmer department zero no trimmers we continue the quiet spell here all right uh further down south san diego did see a 2.5 off the coast here earlier this evening a handful of earthquakes out here today but uh really no major swarming going on no major unusual activity to take note of uh, up here in the Washington area, kind of an oddball earthquake. Uh, center, well, that's north of the uh, Columbia River there in the Washington side. Looks like about 15 kilometers deep for a 2.2. Kind of an odd area to see an earthquake, but uh, one here and there is not too bad. Not too unusual, I would say. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, a couple earthquakes throughout the day today. Uh, let's give a quick glance over here at Yellowstone Overview and see what is going on. Um... Well, I think I need to go back through the previous day here since it's on the 31st. Um, doesn't look like too much activity. Um, little uncertain on if this was earthquake activity. Kind of looks like it was. Um, but it was very localized there to the uh, Pitchstone Plateau area. Wasn't really being picked up on um, too many other stations. There was a handful of smaller quakes here. Across Purple Mountain, Mary Lake. But uh, looks like a little localized swarm going on there earlier. Uh, in the morning time. Uh, see what else we got for the rest of the states out here. Texas is still oddly quiet. Um, I don't recall the last time I've seen no earthquakes out here outside of Pecos, Texas. Normally these oil fields are getting uh, fairly uh, you know, active on any given day. Uh, a little bit of activity from uh, yesterday and one after midnight there in Oklahoma, but eerily quiet out here across the uh, uh, the North American plate here in terms of the states. No oil field activity. Uh, very minimal movement there in California. Goodness. All right. Uh, Puerto Rico trench area still seeing some activity. Quite a few three, uh, 3.7s here. Look at that. The magic number 3.7 up and down the board. The depth of these earthquakes all over the place. So we're still watching this um, potentially for some larger scale movement. Um, it's been rocking and rolling out here. In the last couple days, an uh, unusual swarm. Most of our swarming activity occurs across this area here. But uh, this specific swarm just uh, been... Uh, oh, oh, what happened here? Hold on a second. Oh, that was kind of weird. See that? Oh, man, am I still live? I am still live. But the USGS, whenever I use their, their, uh, their maps, or sometimes they freeze up on me. I don't know why, but... Uh, Go back over here to the uh, Puerto Rico area. I clicked on this, and I wanted to see the last seven days of activity. Maybe I'm chatting about something here that uh, is about ready to happen. Who knows? Could be some uh, larger scale activity out here. You just never know. Uh, this region can see some large damaging earthquakes and a swarm right on a major subduction zone. Well, you know, <laughs> kind of leaning more towards the potential that there is some big event about ready to happen here. Best thing to do is be prepared. Uh, 55 earthquakes here in the last, mainly mainly in the last couple days here. Uh, lots of threes, some fours kicking up in this swarm as well. So we'll continue to watch that overnight uh, for some movement. It's just a little odd. Um, aside from that, uh, goodness, it looks pretty quiet out here across the western Pacific. I did have some earthquake here in the Tonga region, a little 5.1 and one south of the Philippines. 5.0 earlier this morning. A look at the uh, Earthquake 3D globe here. Still looks very quiet. Look at this. We don't normally see a whole lot of quietness along the plate boundary. Major plate boundary. 
almost has uh, earthquake on it, earthquake activity on it all the time, but uh, it's eerily quiet. Uh, New Zealand looks like a deeper quake there, North Island area. Th uh, 3.2 could be associated with the uh, Hikurangi subduction zone in that region. Uh, the rest of the globe here looks like a, there's a 5.3 showing up here, but it's in that zone of where um, sometimes there's false earthquakes being reported by the EMSC. And it's roughly within, let's see here, roughly within this zone right here. I don't see a 5.3, so it's going to be one of these earthquakes here. For whatever reason, we've seen it here a couple days ago, showed a, a six-pointer. And uh, it's just it's some type of error that takes place between the EMSC and the Earthquake 3D globe that hasn't been worked out yet. So uh, that's not a 5.3, but a, a smaller quake there. The Atlantic Ocean, 5.0, Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge, it looks like. Getting a little bit of activity stirring up out here, 4.5 right now. Um, well, actually, that's about 10 o'clock an hour or so ago. Not for sure why that's reading um, as a new quake. But uh, either way, definitely some earthquake activity out here in this uh, divergent boundary. And uh, things appear to be picking up here across the South America region um, today. Lot, lots of earthquake activity there up and down the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, continue to watch that. And, um, well, there's that five pointer out here. Let's see what we got for Iceland activity with the. Um, some you know this odd movement there across the north american plate it looks very quiet last 12 hours here only 12 earthquakes and uh, really not a whole lot of uh, movement across grindavik at all and the uh, latest run here from the savart singi area which is just north there of the grindavik region still shows um you know still shows some inflation here uh, hasn't haven't really seen any dropping of the ground there for as deflation goes but uh, let's check out a couple more graphs here across the Grindvik region and see what we have here it is still uh, I don't know why this one's off here a little bit is this one functionable functioning I know this one's not this is the one that got kind of covered up here uh, from the latest lava flow <clears throat> hard to say um you know i don't see any signs of any major deflation activity going on here and it's just uh something we got to watch here in the coming days and weeks um and see how this plays out it looks like there's a data cut off here i don't know if this is the most recent run or not but looks a little odd there so continue to watch that area uh, you know for some earthquake movement and uh, subsequent uh, eruption activity, if it goes that route. Kilauea Volcano, goodness, still rocking and rolling out here. Got about 52 earthquakes. Um, and that's just the number the USGS puts up here. I'm going to go check it out myself and see exactly how much earthquake activity is going on here around the volcano on the big island. It's been showing the last couple days here of some unrest uh, with a lot of earthquake activity. And uh, behaving kind of odd here with the inflation activity here recently. Uh, before, over the last couple of months, we've been seeing this gradually go up and up and up with each run. Um, now we're just kind of leveling out and uh, showing a little bit of signs of leveling, uh, or not really deflation, but, uh, you know, it looks a little odd here. I'm thinking that we're fairly well pressurized underneath the area. Um, earthquake activity here, we're going to go right around where this swarm is going on here and see what we got still quite a bit here folks quite a bit a lot more than the 52 or 62 earthquakes that they're showing there on the map i mean there's a lot uh, you know if you count all these and we're not going to there's uh probably well over 100 earthquakes on this map and um around this graph so uh it's continuing definitely got to keep an eye on it um i don't think they put out any new updates since this morning but uh, we'll double check here and see what's going on. HVO, that was put out uh, earlier this morning here. And it's just, it is what it is. We're just not looking at anything yet. I think it's going to happen soon. Uh, the earthquake activity is a good indicator of that. Uh, we'll continue to watch that and uh, see how the Kilauea volcano uh, wants to behave here. Or see if it wants to behave or if it wants to, uh, you know, continue some eruption activity. 
Uh, let's see what else we got. I think that's about it for earthquake activity. Uh, a little bit of movement up in Alaska again. Um, not so much around the Aurora uh, Lodge area. Still seen a handful of smaller quakes there, uh, mainly this morning. But uh, overall, uh, looks like some general microquake activity along that plate boundary. Uh, space weather activity here. Um, looks fairly quiet. Still seeing a little bit of proton event hanging around in the ionosphere. That uh, was kicked up from a large um, flare that kicked off a couple days ago. Still lingering though. Quite a few proton uh, events here in the last few months. Far as the flaring activity goes, uh, kind of leveling off since that large um, last flare. That wasn't even really directed at Earth, but we still seen the effects of the um, of that flare from some protons. A 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare around 1% chance or so. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the sunspots and see what they ha have to offer. Uh, well, I don't think there's much on the table here for the uh, large flare department. We may see some C flare activity off of here, but. Uh, Looking at all these others here, there's not a whole lot of hope, unfortunately, and that's just what we have to deal with for now. Not a whole lot of auroras in the forecast, and uh, it'll probably stay that way for a little bit. No major coronal holes, and um, that's that's what it is. All right, Storm Prediction Center. Uh, no severe weather set up here. We do have uh, quite a few decent storms here. I want to show you guys uh, one. what is going on here. Are we offline? Nope, we are still good. Everything is live. That is really weird. Why? I'm gonna close these out. Almost seems like after I'm all after I run the uh, USGS map there. Not cool. Um, I wanted to bring up the satellite view out here. Look at this huge low pressure system. I'm gonna put this uh, with wind gust out here. It's a developing low pressure system. Got about 82 mile per hour wind gusts around there. Maybe some higher. Uh, and this thing is ginormous. Check out the satellite view out here. It is awesome looking to say the least. Look at those. Uh, look at that area of circulation. I'm just going to put this in the run here. I want to go to the last six hours and show you guys uh, the awesomeness of this. It's really going to um, start to uh, build, so to speak. But it's going kind of up north, up in this direction here. It's not going to slam the west coast here directly, but we are going to be feeling the effects of that. Look at that convection band just getting everything fired up. It's tapping into some decent subtropical moisture. And uh, it's going to soak the state of California out here. And, of course, all the way up north in the Pacific uh, Northwest as well. And uh, that's a, that is a beauty of a storm system, let me tell you. Um, rain accumulation out here is going to be decent let me show you guys the rain accumulation here over the next couple days i need to go into the next five day how is it five or ten days um we'll just run 10 days this is a lot of moisture out here uh, across the state of california outside of my neck of the woods here in chico looks like uh maybe picking up over three and a half inches of rain heavier across the coast range even los angeles area getting in on some decent rain that's just uh that's good for them. They definitely need the rain down there. I know San Diego had some issues. What is going on? Is Tropical Tidbits offline? Maybe that's what's going on. I was trying to access their site. Very possible they could be offline. I'm not seeing... Uh, I don't see any of the site working here. They may be down. I, wanted to, I really wanted to see some of their uh, weather models here, but it's all good. So we'll just... Uh, Go back over here to the windy map and we'll check out some of these winds out here as we put this thing into motion uh heading in tomorrow notice that storm system kind of going up north but there's the convection band that's going to be hitting and slamming into california um that's going to be scooted up north a little bit and it's not until oh when is it i think sunday into monday we got another deep low pressure system here uh, that's going to be stirring up off the California coast. I think it's on this weekend. Let me see here. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one. Fairly decent. Look at these wind gusts here from the storm. 
uh, just offshore there, 75 mile per hour winds, almost, you know, it's a category one hurricane. Goodness. And as we put this, uh, let me go up here a little bit. Uh, the winds, of course, will die down as it heads over land, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a windy day out there around Salinas area and along the coast range. Goodness. I kind of want to drive down there and see those winds, but I better play it safe and, uh, stay here at home. Wow. Uh, here around Sacramento or uh, north of Sacramento and Chico area, we're not going to get quite that windy. We'll, we'll see a little bit of wind, but uh, I think we're maybe looking at 30 mile an hour wind gusts up here. Either way, hey, we got a lot of rain coming up here and uh, I'm happy about it. We'll continue to watch that and report back on uh, anything that uh, changes here. But look at that. Does not work. Gosh darn it. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, have a good night. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow morning sometime. And um, stay safe out there. Keep an eye on the Puerto Rico Trench. Going to keep that earthquake watch up there for now because of the uh, ongoing continued earthquake swarming there across this area. We'll catch you guys back here in the morning. Take care.